YouTube, welcome back. It's your boy Javik Shu. I got another exciting video for you guys today. We're gonna be looking at the skills for both Zeta and Magrat. We're gonna be looking at them and seeing what they're going to be bringing to the table in our next season. So I'm excited to show you guys. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get started here. We got the two new heroes, Zeta and Magrat. We're just going to be going over the quick uh, skills and see what we think initially. So for Zeta here, uh, I mean, honestly, I do like her design. <laughs> kind of gives like that pirate vibe to her. Kind of like a gypsy. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Her first skill is Shining Star Shoot. It is a passive skill, kind of like uh, Tohar's has a passive skill and hers. Uh, when Zeta Legions deals normal attack damage, they gain one stack of Dawn Watcher mark for five seconds, up to ten stack. Maximum one stack every second. Each stack of Dawn Watcher marks increases normal attack damage dealt by 4% and march speed by 1%. Wow, okay, so if we have her maxed out, this her thing's kind of crazy. So, Dawn Watcher's mark up for 5 seconds. One stack of the mark for 5 seconds. A maximum of one stack every second. A max and up to 10 stacks. So imagine if you have the full hover maxed out at eight percent. That'll be eighty percent. That eighty percent of normal attack damage bonus, which is insane. And then you're adding twenty percent march speed, which is now we know why her mobility speed comes in. So that is actually pretty insane. Uh, that normal attack damage is crazy and honestly the march speed is also really crazy as well because marks i mean marksmen and archers are pretty slow i think we all can say that confidently they are pretty slow so that march speed bonus is gonna come in very nicely her next skill decisive duel is another passive skill when zeta legion reaches maximum amount of dawn watchers mark stack they do 4% more damage and receive 5% healing. So, once we get the max amount, like 80%, we're gonna deal another 10% damage dealt bonus on top of the 80% normal attack. And you still, and you're gonna add 20% healing. So, wow, she's gonna be really strong, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Next skill is tactical adjustment. All marksman units in Zeta Legions gain 10% physical attack and a 4% march speed. So get this to five, you're getting at 30% physical attack, and then you're adding another 10% march speed bonus on top of the 20% over here. So yeah, she'd be pretty quick on the field. She'd be pretty strong, making a lot of. She has a lot of uh, bonuses for attacking, physical, normal, and just normal damage bonus. So she sounds pretty strong, honestly, already. And her last skill is here is Silver Tongue. When Zeta Legion deals normal attack damage, they gain twenty five percent chance to gain normal attack focus, increasing the normal attack crit rate by ten percent for four seconds. So leveled her out to five. Any you have twenty five percent crit rate bonus for four seconds. Wait. So if she's maxed out, when Zayla's Legion deals normal attack damage, they have a twenty five percent chance to gain normal attack focus, increasing their normal attack crit rate by. And it'll be twenty five percent for four seconds. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. And her awakening skill is Zeta's Legion gains three stacks of Dawn Watcher's Mark upon entering battle. So awaken, you're already going to start with three stacks, which will be, you know, if you have her 8%, that's what, 24%. Normal attack damage. So, I mean, guys, uh, she sounds pretty powerful, uh, I think, personally. So, and she sounds like she could uh, have good synergy with anybody, any Syndrion, maybe Fragar. I know she does a lot of normal attack. So does uh, Syndrion. Here, where is it? I don't know. Maybe the rapid fire won't take effect. But she should be good. Pair. She should be a good pair with anybody. Um, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next hero. Alright, so here we have Magrat. Let's take a good look at her. Look at her tattoos. <laughs> Seriously, she is like, she gives out a witch with her potions. But a <laughs> pretty cool design. All right, so we have the first skill here, Peach's Dream. Magrat's Legion gains variable healing whenever they deal normal attack damage. Healing rate, 1%. When variable healing has been triggered five times, their normal attack damage, their normal attack deals 250% more damage. Variable healing can be triggered every, once every second. A variable healing is the more units you defeat and the higher their levels, the higher your healing rate. Whoa, 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 whoa. So does that mean when we're fighting like stronger enemies like T5s, if you're T4, you're fighting T5s, you get more healing, your, your healing rate is higher? That's pretty nuts. And then when variable healing has been triggered five times, their next normal attack deals 250 damage. But if you get that max, so you get 450 damage. Dang. That's crazy. Wow. Our next skill here. Truth Teller, whenever Magras Legion gains healing or variable healing, they have a 30% chance to gain 20% attack or 40% attack for 30 seconds. So whenever you're doing the variable healing, you have 30% chance to get 40% attack for 30 seconds. A little attack bonus there. Uh, Spore Super. All marksman units in Marcus Legion gain 5% more normal attack damage and gain 5% HP. So more bonuses. This is a normal attack bonus. 15% bonus and a 20% HP bonus. Making you just a little bit more tanky. Making you survive a little bit longer on the field. Uh, which is always, always good. And the next, the last skill is her garrison. When Magret's garrison army is in the city or stronger, they receive healing for ten every ten seconds. Healing factor is fifty, and gain four percent attack for five seconds. So that's a total of two hundred uh, healing factor every ten seconds, and a ten percent attack for five seconds. So honestly, uh, uh, I mean, if you think about it, you can just go five, five, five. And you don't even have to touch the last skill. Uh, and you will be set with Magret. Uh, her, let's look at her awakening skill. Toadstool stew. Um, before. Looks like after awakening, Magret's Legion gains variable healing whenever they deal normal attack. Healing rate 5%. When variable healing has been triggered 5 times, their next normal attack is 500%. 
more damage, variable healing can be triggered every second. So you're getting a 50% increase to the, the next skill, the next normal attack, which is not, I mean, any extra bonus to your attack is always great. But, I mean, honestly, you could have her at 5551 five, and be done. I mean, just lock on, unlock the first three skills, get them all to five, and you're all set. I mean, it sounds like Magrat and Zeta will be good uh, pairs, but honestly, I think both heroes can be paired up with anybody. You can mix them up with Sindrion, Fragar. If you run a really fast marksman, you can do like Zeta, Fragar, and then you can have Magrat, Sindrion right next to them. A little slower, but they hit a little bit harder. Uh, all the bonuses from Zeta's normal and physical, normal attack bonus. Gonna be crazy on the field, guys. But that's your first look at them. Uh, let me know what you guys think. There's nothing about the new artifacts, so I can't show you guys that just yet. But let me know what you guys think on the skills. I think, me personally, I mean, they both look very, very strong just from the skills. But we'll have to test those out on the next season when they come out. But maybe they're the new meta. I mean, I think personally they can mix and match with the other two marksmen so that's always good for the game you don't want to just have the two new heroes always be paired up with each other but let me know what you guys think on the comment guys i think it'll be great uh and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace